Hello, welcome to a very special Better Sheets video. Uh, this video I absolutely will uh, be putting out on YouTube very soon, so um, check it out on YouTube and share this video with anyone you want. Um, it's a pretty funny uh, or interesting little hack. Um, I saw Benedict Evans <laughs> made this joke about um, Excel having stories. Um, and as it, how it could be a, um, inevitable place. And I was like, obviously this is a joke from 2018. And then people are like, this needs to be real. And I was even like, oh, this needs to be real because, um, very often I'll be sharing stories on, uh, not story, uh, sharing videos about a certain, uh, spreadsheet and I'll put that into email. And I realized like this, it could be a real thing where, um, we could have videos about the spreadsheet that you're working on, but obviously I'm not going to be doing anything with um, um, with the UI of Google Sheets. But I thought of this really interesting way to do video notes and be able to make it easier for people to enter video notes. And I thought it would be a great way to show you how you can take a form inside of Google Sheets so you don't have to have an external Google form um, and get it into a sheet. Um, and also, I wanted to make the uh, script that I'm writing available to all Better Sheets members. If you're not a Better Sheets member yet, um, and you're watching this on YouTube, then check out bettersheets.co where I go through a lot of different creative, interesting ways to do cool stuff on Google Sheets. Um, and I share with you not just what to do, but how to do it and how you can uh, do that for a wide variety of use cases. Um, so, uh, and also what's cool is every Better Sheets member gets uh, access to the sheets that I make. So all of the script you're seeing here is available to Better Sheets members. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you get to follow along and copy and, uh, and type, but uh, Better Sheets members can just grab the sheet, make a copy, and have it available. Um, okay, so this video is going to have a few parts uh, because I'm going to try to do some things that I haven't done yet. What I have done so far is this. So if you're working on a sheet and maybe you have some kind of spreadsheet here with some data and uh, maybe it's a CRM or something and it's like customers and you have um, all your customers here um, and you're like, oh, this column needs to be something. Well, I added this uh, custom menu, which is a really cool thing in Google Sheets that I've enjoyed a lot and really makes your Google Sheets uh, feel like a part of your office and not just like an external tool you're using. Um, and you can, let's say, um, I'm just going to go to my YouTube channel. I'm going to copy a uh, link here. Um, when you make a Loom video, uh, it automatically puts the uh, URL in your co uh, copy um, clipboard. So it'll have it. So what we'll do is go up to video notes. We'll add a video note. And it says, paste your video link. And I just paste my video link. Okay. And it's now on the tab of video notes. And it also has a um, timestamp of when it was submitted. Uh, I'll show you how to do this. And I'll show you how to do the timestamp. But what I also did is if you're on here and you're like, oh, I want to see whatever. Like, I don't, I don't know what video. Someone just emailed me and said, hey, there's a video for you. And I know it's the last video, so I can watch the latest video. Um, and are you sure you want to watch? <laughs> and say, okay. And it will open a new tab with that video. What's that video that I just copied and pasted? We'll find out. Uh, let's see if we get the right one. It's a really exciting. It's because it's very slow loading. It's very exciting to see if it's the right one. <laughs> and it doesn't have the title yet. Of course it's going to be, because it's loading video and recording this loom at the same time. So it's struggling, struggling my hide and reveal data in checkboxes. Was that the last one? Was that what I, yeah, that was, that was the exact video. So again, we can copy this, um, actually copy the video and then let's try that again. And just so you can see that it changes whatever the video you're going to watch here. So add a video. Um, we're going to paste and then it's finished the script and now we're going to watch the latest video note. 
And I'll show you how to edit all of this, and you can change that dialogue. You can make it your own. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it, it, it opens a new, a different video than the one we did. I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back right away. Yep. So we got the correct video. Uh, we got the last video that was um, sent, uh, submitted. Cool. So that's what the functionality does. Now, how did I create this? We did it all in script. Um, first, we created a new tab called Video Notes. Um, and I just have two columns here, the link and when it was submitted with the timestamp. I'll show you how to fix this right now. Um, it just shows you visually the date, but it actually has a timestamp of the time there, which is important if you want to filter these for some reason. Um, but let's go to our script and I'll show you how I did this. So number one thing, I created on open a, a new custom menu. Okay, and this is part of the UI. You can do spreadsheet app dot get UI and then create menu and you, cre you name that menu here and then you add an item and the two item, the two uh, parts of this is the visual name, like what you will see as the button or the item and then what is the r function that will run. Uh, that's the second item. So the second item always is like no spaces and it has something like sort of, um, it might actually be something different, but what you say to a user is going to be whatever you want to say. This is what this function does. And this function must exist down here. Uh, it can be actually on any uh, of these other pages if you have multiple pages of script. But here's what we did. We just went, um, we said, hey, get us UI of prompt um, and say paste your link. And then we set a button of OK or cancel. And the response of that, if it's okay, if it's canceled, don't do anything. Um, if it is okay, that means we have some response. So we take that response here. We say response.get response text. So we say, here's that variable. We say get response text. And then we grab the place where it's going to go, where you don't want to... You want to set it on the row that's first blank row. And we get that by getting a, a range of the last row. So we go here, get last row, and we add one to it. And so we get this range, and we're going to set this value, response.get, response text. Whatever they say, we're going to get that last row. Add one, because the last row is going to be the last row with text in it or some data, and then in column one. Okay, so that's how we get this uh, video note into here and how we don't have to um, worry about it writing over itself. It's just going to find the last row here um, and then add one and then set the value here. Uh, with the timestamp, this is a funny thing. So it's the exact same set value except we do column two. So in this get range, we're using uh, numerical numbers here. A lot of times when we're doing script in get range, uh, with get range, we'll use A1 notation, which means we will literally say, um, set the range of A1 as link, um, or set the this A10 or B10, that's um, A1 notation. Um, but in this case, we're saying just a numerical value of last row plus one for the row. The first item is the row, and the second item is this column. Okay, so what we need to do when we set the value of the timestamp is we just have to set the column to two. So we say, okay, find the last row again, plus one, and just set this timestamp. This is a funky thing that made me realize something's not exactly the right thing thing here because as I thought about this and I set it up first I said okay set this response set the URL here and then when we set the timestamp we the last row already exists so we want to do the last row instead of the plus one we don't want to add one because the last row already exists where we want to put it and we put two but this was wrong this kept having the timestamp up on the left this row here. So I'll show you, actually I'll save it and I'll show you. In programming language, I, maybe I'm wrong about this, but I thought this would run again and grab the last row once this is set. Now the last row is different 
And so we don't have to put the plus one. That's what I thought. And so I'm going to save that, and let's just grab, I'm just going to grab this URL. We're going to put it in again. Add video note. And we're going to put OK. Now see, we have no timestamp here. It's because this timestamp was it. So I'll show you that if this was blank, that's where it will go. So add a note. We paste our link. And now see, it's up here. And this really threw me for a loop because I, I just didn't realize it until I had to do the exact same thing here as here, and I just add plus one. And so now, even though, yes, there is text on this row once we set it, it still looks for the last row. It, it still gets the same last row. So now I will delete this, and I hope we saved. Or I'm going to look stupid. Let's... Paste that again. There we go. And we didn't save. We did not save. I looked stupid. Oh, this red thing means we didn't save. Okay, let's save it. And let's try that again. <laughs> Die on my face. Let's do that. And video notes. Add video note. Cool. And there we go. We got our timestamp in the correct row. Um, and again, this timestamp has a time, so we're going to um, fix that in just a hot second. Um, the, l last, the last part of this is uh, just if you click cancel or nothing, um, then it logs without the user knowing, it logs, hey, they canceled. This was just to be able to test if that is actually happening. Um, the la watch last video I will get into in... One second before, after we go through, let's fix this to show the timestamp. So we're going to select the entire row, a column. We're going to go to Format. We're going to change this, not to Automatic, but whoa, we want Format, Number. We want Date Time. There we go. And so now we have the visible... Uh, time. This this really helps. Uh, the data will be there, but it helps visually to know. Oh, when was the last one um, made? Even if you fil um, s filter this, sort it somehow, some way. Maybe you have different things you want to do. You can add uh, thumbnails to this if you want to scrape sort of this URL and get this V equals. Um, you can easily uh, let's go to um, YouTube thumbnail. It's like a really easy URL, um, and you can just add that V um, thing there. And actually, we might do that um, in this video. There you go. So it's just image. There we go. So all we need to do is, this is actually a really fun thing to do. Let's say we want to add an image here. Um, we're going to come back to this, but I'm just going to add, whoops, I'm going to add it here just to not mess up the um, script, um, thumbnail. And I'm going to add this here, and we'll come back to this in a hot second. I'll show you how to make that thumbnail based on this URL, because we have to do a little bit of work on here. OK, so how do I get the timestamp? Um, or not, sorry, not how I get the timestamp. The last part is, that I've already done is watch last video. So when you click on watch last video, you want to be anywhere here and you just want to be like, I want to watch the last video. I don't want to have to go to that video notes tab, search down the list. I don't want to go to the last one. Um, it's a lot of work. So I made this easy. Watch last video. It will just take this last uh, URL, put it in this uh, sort of open a new tab and show you. Um, that's it. But let's cancel that and I'll show you what it's doing. So what it's doing is it's getting the last row again. We're grabbing just that get, dot get last row. We're getting the range of the last row and the column one. We're getting that value. And we put it into an alert. So we say, hey, UI.alert. We're going to watch. We just set a couple buttons, OK, and cancel. When the, when the, uh, if the response here equals OK, we are creating a your, uh, HTML here, and it's just doing window.open, and then we're inserting our last video URL here. So in these um, quote, we use single quotes, then double quotes to get out, and then we add last video, 
And then we go back into it and we go Google.script host close. So we close that um, HTML sort of interface. Um, we create an interface here and we say opening a new tab so that we get out of sheets. This is a really funky way of getting to a new URL, but it does decrease the need to like click buttons, um, to click on a URL, click on a link, find the link. It decreases all of that and, and sort of does the work for us of opening a new window in our in our browser. Um, probably, I would say probably this doesn't really work too, too well on mobile, but who knows? I haven't tested it just yet. You're more than welcome to test it yourself. Um, but here we go. We have all of this HTML service we use. We create an HTML out, output, and then we uh, show that modal of, hey, opening a new tab, and then it automatically closes here. This google.script.host.close, that closes it after opening it in a new window. And that's it. Pretty simple way to open a URL that we have on this um, list. Um, a couple of other use cases for this might be not just video notes of what you're working on in this sheet, but maybe there's like sales videos you need to go through, or um, this is great for versioning. So if you are working uh, in a creative agency or you're trying to create a commercial or Facebook ads or YouTube ads and you're creating videos and you want to say, okay, here's this video we made on this day and then the next video is on this day and you want to keep them um, uh, so sorted and ordered uh, appropriately but you find like, oh, I have to go in here and type the timestamp every time. This might, this whole like video notes and adding the video might make it really easy for you to keep track of, hey, this is the new version 4.5. Here are the changes. Instead of maybe a thumbnail, you can add uh, what are the changes. Like a Git, uh, GitHub or Git repository might have you send, add some notes to what that video changes were. Um, this could be used for that really, really well. Um, and you can also set up a new sheet every time for a new commercial you're making. Maybe it's a month-long, two-week-long process of script writing, creating the video, editing the video, and then multiple versions of each of those, you can set up a new sheet for that easily. Um, or if you're right, making Facebook ads and you're like, oh, we need to make 20 ads, but uh, video ads, but we need to also make sure each of those are correct and, and have a checklist. You can have a nice little checklist here. I have some other videos that go into that. One thing I'm not going to go through in this video, I will show you how to do this thumbnail, and we'll do that live in this video. But one thing might be, in this script, you could, um, once you add a video note, right oh, after here, right here, you could add a v email. You could email this. Now, um, I'm not going to go through it in this video because there is a series of videos about how to do scripting and send a email. So I already have shown Better Sheets members this, and if you're a Better Sheets member and you're watching this right now, um, go into the folder, and if you can't find it, you're more than welcome to email me. Um, but you can email this link um, by using this uh, get last row here, this whole part. You can say, hey, take this email, email me anytime someone submits a video. So if your team is submitting multiple videos, you want an email for each one of those, um, this is a really good way to do it, um, just right here. You could email this to, to your team or yourself right here. Um, just add script. <laughs> uh, and again, I've, I have a video about how to email at least yourself, how to email others. Um, I've set up a team email where every time something was submitted, it emailed the entire team. It also included a link to the sheet. Um, so that was like really special. So instead of just getting an email that says, here's this thing link that was submitted, it's like, here's a link that was submitted, here's the sheet that it's on so that everyone can easily go to the back to that sheet, make some notes, check it out, um, delete it if needed. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do um, based on just email. And you can email from Google Sheets, this stuff. So um, the last part of this video that I'm going to go through is how to add this thumbnail. We're going to do this live. I'm gonna, we're going to scrape um, or cut this um, URL. We want to just get this V 
And what we're trying to do is fit it in between here, and we're going to go, we're going to find, let's do um, this. This is what the end result is going to be. It's going to be uh, 6x0.jpg. Uh, um, I think it's going to be that. And instead of xxx, we're going to have this code right here. And let's just double check. We want to double check that it's actually going to work once if we actually get it. So, whoops. Let's just kill this xxx. And this is the end result we're going to have. Cool. We're going to... Um, I wonder... Oops, yeah, that's not going to work. Let's do this. Um, resize rows. Let's make it mm, 50. There we go. And let's center them. So we're going to get a nice little thumbnail here. There we go. We got some style. Um, but we want to replace this code ID with this one, right? Because um, if we just copy and paste this, it's not going to work, right? It's just going to have the same thumbnail. Okay, so let's do this. Instead of this, we're going to do and, and this. Okay, um, nope, it's not and. Plus. Okay, and here we're going to split here. Um, we want to split it around um, equal sign. Um, then we want, let's see. Okay, let me get this correct. And let's look at what we're doing here when we split it first. I know this is going to give me an error, but whatever. We'll right click insert or right here. There we go. So let's see what happens when we split it by the equal sign. Okay? So we have this uh, first, this watch kind of stuff here, and we have this and, and T. Okay, so it's our second thing. Let's just make sure it's going to be the same one here. So we can use index and just grab the second part of that. Uh, row is one, column two. We still have, though, that and sign. So we want to, okay, it's going to make do the same thing. So now we want to also split around any and and see what that hat does. And now we get a T over here, and now we want the first part. So we do index, um, comma, row one, column one, and we grab the that URL. Now, this only works if the uh, V equals is the first one. If this T equals one S and the V ID are flipped in the URL, this will not work. But for right now and for our sake, we just want this. So I'm going to copy this, all this text in here, all this function. I'm going to delete it from here. And we're going to put it into where this plus sign is. Okay. Now we should be okay. Nope. What is going on? What did we forget? Did we forget something? Oh, that's not going to work. Maybe. Oh, I know what we need to do. One second. All right. So, yeah, that was that was a funny thing. So instead of the plus sign, so. Um, before I used, let's do it here, I'll show you, did two quotes and then we used plus, right? And it wasn't working with the code because this code, Google Sheets thinks it's a number. 
And so a lot of times these will start with numbers. So it didn't work because of this plus sign. So what I did instead is use concatenate. So we just concatenate. I always forget how to spell it to let Google Sheets do that. And then we do commas here. And inside of these commas, we put this uh, function or this formula here. And now we're concatenating this uh, first part of the URL along with our ID here. And then we just end it in this concatenate with that the, um, slash zero uh, dot JPEG. So we get a, um, let's just do, oops, let's copy this. And now we're getting another concatenate. From split perimeter one value should not be non-empty. So what's probably happening is that the split is not working correctly here for us for some reason. Um, let's see. I'm going to troubleshoot this and be right back. Oh, this was a silly mistake. Super silly. So in, <laughs> um, in this row, this thumbnail should be not A4, it should be A2. <laughs> that was a silly one. So now that is the correct thumbnail. And now as we copy paste, we get the correct thumbnails because what it was doing was it was pushing it one or two rows down, which it was concaten um, splitting over here, which doesn't exist. Okay, but here's a really good way to, to um, um, get around this error, okay? So if we know, okay, we might have an error down here. We can wrap this whole thing. We don't really need a thumbnail unless we have data in A2. So we can do if is blank A2. And now if it's true, meaning if it is blank, we don't want to do anything. So we do two commas. And then our false, meaning it is not blank, we have something, is our image. And we wrap that around the whole thing. And now when we get here, we get nothing which is good. Nothing in this case is good. So now this thumbnail will only show up when we have a link here. So let me clean up this sheet. I'm going to delete this column. I'm going to delete actually, I'm going to delete all these columns. You need to delete all these columns. And now every time we add a URL here, we're going to have a thumbnail. So that's pretty darn cool. Let's, um, how to make an interactive to-do list. Let's copy that link address and just test that it works. We're gonna to go to video notes. We're gonna add a video note and we're gonna paste it here. And let's, yeah, we got a thumbnail, cool. And we can do that with any, um, URL, uh, any URL, really, anything we wanna put here. Um, there's no real um, validation or or verification here we can literally put anything we want here and so we may have some errors and problems along the way like here it's a reference because there's nothing to split here yes there could be duplications and all of these things you could probably figure out how to um, uh, get around if you watch more of better sheets videos thanks for watching hopefully this is really fun and interesting for you to add um, a video notes uh, section. I thought it was fun because it's something that I, I was literally like this morning trying to figure out how to add a UI here of little circles and put some videos in there. And I was like, wait, this is way beyond my um, wheelhouse, but I do know how to add a, a, a list of videos into Google Sheets. Um, and so hopefully this was like a fun little workaround of how do you um, do stories in, um, in Google Sheets, uh, sheet stories, I guess. So maybe this might have a, a clickbaity title of like add add stories to Google Sheets. So don't don't hate me. And if you got all the way to the end of this video, I'm so happy uh, that we were able to do this. Um, if you are a Better Sheets member, you have access to this exact script. You can go and grab it from um, the Loom uh, folder. You can also email me if you have any questions. Um, and there's tons of stuff we could add to this, like add an email. I might do it in another video. Um, we could add, um, we could add that it actually does, um, disappear in 24 hours. Maybe, uh, we have a little script that says, Hey, when this timestamp is more than 24 hours, um, um, in the past, delete it, delete, um, clear that, that cell. 
Um, we could have add notes. You know, um, we could do who submitted it. Um, that's a really cool thing too. If you're working in a team and you don't want people to have to like select their name, this happens a lot. It adds a couple of levels of complexity. Um, but not complexity of time. When someone's like, hey, I, write, I wrote a note here. It's a com um, collaborative doc. You have to write a note and then you have to say who you are. You have to select your name from a drop down menu. That, that gets a little burdensome sometimes. So really when we're typing and we're adding something, it's really simple to say who is the logged in user, get their email address and just put that in there and say, hey, Brent did this or Brett did this or Tiffany or Michelle did this. Like it's really easy to put in people's names um, if you know they're a logged in user and, and it's only logged in users and your team that are putting stuff in here. So enjoy. Also, you got to see this on open thing, which I love putting custom menus in sheets. It really adds that el extra element of like, this is our sheet. Um, please uh, ask questions. Uh, feel, feel free to ask questions. Email me. Any Better Sheets members have my email address. You can reply to any email you've gotten um, from me or from Better Sheets or Gumroad where you bought the got it, uh, where you bought the um, Better Sheets access. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye.